Are you ready to get cooking? Guess what? They released another as seen on TV product that's geared towards cooking. It's called the Granite Stone Diamond Spike Express and that's what we're going to check out in this video. This is Jeff with Jeff Reviews for You. My channel is dedicated to reviewing mostly as seen on TV items. I look at some consumer gadgets, other household items. Once in a while I do a little bit of a DIY just because I like to. If that interests you, I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel and click the bell below. That way you're notified every time I release a video just like this one. One more thing, don't forget to check down the description for my social media, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. I would love it if you would follow me there too. Now let's take a closer look at this Granite Stone Diamond Spike Express to see if it's any good. Here is our Granite Stone Diamond Spike Express. I purchased this for about $40 from my local As Seen on TV retailer. Just a couple of tabs and we can pull this thing out. It kind of reminds me of the original George Foreman. I have some directions and an interesting little circle. Looks like maybe a cleaning cloth. And then here is the unit itself. All right. What? Look at those spikes. I'd say these spikes are at least maybe an eighth to a quarter of an inch deep. They're on the top and the bottom. That's kind of weird. And they are sharp. What in the world? Anyway, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to read through the directions. We're going to prep this and start cooking. The directions tell us to wipe down with a damp cloth the outside. It tells us to wipe this down with a damp cloth and even the inside grill part, you're not to submerge this in water, so you're just wiping it down and then you're just to run it for a few minutes all by itself to burn off any oils from the factory. They recommend doing that before cooking. Um, this is a sponge, it's a rubber silicone sponge that I guess you're able to wipe this off after you're done cooking and after the unit has cooled, you can use this, but this came with it. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna wipe this down with a damp cloth inside and outside, I'm gonna dry it thoroughly, I'm gonna plug my plug in and burn off the residue. I've washed this inside and out um, thoroughly with a damp cloth and then I dried it. Now it's plugged in. Um, they recommend having it plugged in for a few minutes, which I'm going to guess is three. I will say as I've been opening and closing this, this part gets really, really hot. I can feel the heat that's on here, both top and the bottom. They recommend only handling it by the handle and not to touch the heating elements. Um, I will say I can smell an odor. Oh, I guess it just clicked. Did you, you hear that click and the green light came on? I can smell an odor that you would expect from burning something off for the first time if you ever had a new appliance like this. So I'm going to let this run. I'm probably going to let mine run five minutes or so or until I don't smell it anymore and then I'll cook something. It's been 30 minutes since I had this thing heating up and it took about that time for the smell to go away. It was just really bad. I ended up leaving the room at one point. Um, I will say what I've noticed is this right here is the only part of the unit that you can touch without burning yourself. This is very hot. The sides are very hot. The back is very hot. I did reach my hand underneath because I was worried about the table, but that part seems to be far enough away, but this is hot up here and definitely something you do not want to put or, or touch. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drop some burgers on here. All I did was season them with some salt and pepper. So these are turkey burgers. Well, the disadvantage is I'd really want to put another one on there. I don't know if I could fit it. Let me just cook these two first. I will say this does not have a hinged back. So instead of it adjusting to the food, it's just going to cook more in the back than it does in the front. So just so you know that. The recommendations for burgers were three to five minutes. It's been two minutes, but I wanted to show you this smoke coming up from it. I'm gonna look in there and they look like they're cooking nicely. I am gonna let them cook the last minute, then I'm gonna take them off and I'll put them on a plate and we'll see what they look like. It's been four minutes. What I've noticed is in the back here, they're more smooshed down than they are in the front and they're definitely more cooked in the back and I'm wondering if that's because of the hinge. I am going to take them off and cut them open. Actually, I just cut them open here in the front and they're still pink in the middle. So let me put them on there for a few more minutes. After six minutes, they've completely cooked through, but look at the mess. I mean, that's a lot of mess behind. I'm interested to see how it's going to clean up. I'm going to try that little chamois thing that they gave me or that silicone thing. 
Um, but I'm gonna cook the two other burgers in this pack and then I'll clean this up. I'm done cooking my four turkey burgers. You can see the liquid that got caught in the grease tray and this mess here. There's only a little bit of mess here on the top. It just covers a little bit of the area. I know you can't see it on the camera. Um, but I will say, I'm gonna try something that I used to do with my George Foreman. This is still hot. I'm just gonna dump some water on, see if that even helps. No, nope, it doesn't even help. All right, well, there goes that idea. So I'm gonna let this cool down and then wash it off. We are cool to the touch. I'm gonna start cleaning it. I just grabbed a washcloth. Let's go to town. I say it's pretty annoying having to navigate around each of these spikes. I, it doesn't even clean up very easily. So I'm, I'm gonna try their little blue thing they sent to see if that helps. I actually think that's more obnoxious. Um, all right, so I'm gonna continue cleaning this. I'll bring you back when I'm done cleaning this off and then we're gonna try to cook something else. As I'm cleaning this, I'm learning how to do it. So instead of doing what I was doing and going around the little spikes, I'm actually just going down the line of spikes. And so I do that a few times so it all cleans up and it's actually cleaning better this way. Um, definitely a lot quicker, but not easy by any means. 30 minutes later and I'm finally done cleaning this. Now mind you, every time I hit one of those little spikes, it definitely hurts your fingers, but I did get it clean. It took me about three times as long as the actual cooking, but it's clean. So tell me, what are your thoughts about the Granite Stone Diamond Spike Express? Is this something that you have used? Would you use it? Let me know down in the comment section below. I would love to hear from you. We're gonna try a sandwich. So I went to a local deli and picked one up and before I knew what happened, I saw that they had sliced the sandwich open, but we're gonna try it as like a panini. Oop, don't wanna miss out on that bacon. The directions for the panini say two to four minutes. Now this doesn't close very well. And so it's open here about an inch. So that'll be an interesting cook, but we'll check back in in about three minutes. This has been toasting now for just about three minutes. So let's open it up and you, look, you can see that it's toasted. Um, it is darker towards this end, I guess where the lid was closer than it is on this end, but I can tell this is toasted. Let's see what it looks like on the other side. It is warm, so be careful. Um, it definitely looks uh, about the similar toasting. This is the side that was closer to this end and this is the side close up here. So I do think that hinge makes a difference. But that being said, it is a nice toasted sandwich that I'm gonna enjoy. Plus my cleanup is not near as bad as it was with the burgers. In this video, we were looking at the Granite Stone Diamond Spike Express Electric Grill. And first things first, that's like a major tongue twister. Try saying that five times fast. It is not very easy. All right, so what did I think of this? The pros, heats up very quickly and the temperature it got was pretty high. The highest I saw was 450 degrees Fahrenheit and that's great for quick cooking. Those are the kind of temperatures you want. What didn't I like? I did not like how the back doesn't have like a hinge feature where it can sort of meet the food at whatever level it's at because you get uneven cooking and that was pretty frustrating. Those spikes I'm really confused about. After I was done cooking and let it cool, it was really hard to clean and took me way too long to clean. Now I have cooked other things since this um, video and that were not actually in this video. I cooked some steak and that turned out really, really well. I also cooked some hot dogs. And what I did differently was I grabbed a pair of um, silicone oven mitts, like 500 degree oven mitts where you're not gonna hurt yourself. And I scrubbed it right away and it cleaned up very easy. That wet um, washcloth and that water just immediately cleaned it in a matter of minutes. Um, the directions, however, does say, they do say, don't clean it when it's hot, just so you know that. I thought making a panini did a great job and that would be my recommendation. If you're gonna use something like this as a panini press, absolutely, other things, not so much. If you're still interested in this product, I will leave a link down in the description. This is Jeff with Jeff Reviews for You. As always, thanks for stopping by and I hope you have a great day. I wanted to get a temperature reading since I didn't do that earlier, primarily just here on the top um, as you can see, it's about 176 degrees Fahrenheit. Very, very warm. That's about 80 degrees Celsius. Now, if I open this up, we can get the pan itself. You're looking at about 
380, 370 degrees Fahrenheit, which is about 187 degrees Celsius. Very warm. That's why they warn you not to touch anything. They do recommend to put it on a um, heat safe surface. So make sure your countertops or whatnot are um, able to carry this. I didn't see any temperature change underneath but they do recommend that. I really do appreciate that you stayed around for my entire review of the Granite Stone Diamond Spike Express. You know what, not that long ago, I actually reviewed a similar cooking device and that was George Foreman's Smokeless Grill. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna link that review right up here and I would love it if you would click on this link. And when you do, by the magic of the internet, I'm gonna join you at that review. So go ahead, click it, it's safe, I promise.